I was reading this, reading this, and then when I got to the point when he said that the review committee will be starting from 2015. Okay, so it means that Atik will also be indicted for anti-party activity. You see, if he, if he was, what do you think this is about? You see, the most important thing is that um, uh, that's why I say people are becoming lawless because um, the party has a constitution and there is a legal backing and the party guidelines that was supposed to, the party members the master chairman and the executive of the party are supposed to follow the legal backings of the party that is if the party is actually respecting its constitution because by what the state the chairman is saying it means that he also has um, licked the oil because if he hasn't licked the oil he will do the needful because at this point he's not looking at it based on the interest of the party it's not looking at it based on his personal interest. I was told, even though I'm not a politician, but I was told that the interest of the party is supreme. Means that no other person has the overriding right beyond the interest of the party. So if the interest of the party is what matters, then I think the national chairman should think about the interest of the party. What will make the party credible? What should make the people now fall back and say, yes, indeed, the party is trying to live up to expectations. You are saying all of this because you have actually leaked, you are among those that have leaked the oil. And that is our system. That is the system that is going on now. What is on the table? That is what our politicians keep asking. What is on the table? And when they ask what is on the table, it's so unfortunate that the only thing they consider that should be on the table is what is either on top of the table or what is on top or under the table. Now, it, it, it becomes so worrisome. If not, there is no way you will tell me that a living example is there. A living example. Uh, yes, some week. Eh? is there you are in apc you are in pdp meanwhile you are the same person that was complaining i can remember when uh ganduji and a and uh, wiki was having a very serious problem and they were both insulting each other but the same ganduji that wiki was insulting that he used pocket of dollars a man that is not ashamed a man that carried dollars around a man that keep collecting bribe and all of that and was accusing the, uh, the uh, Ganduji, and today he is now working on that Ganduji, and they are working in synergy. It is, that is the reason why some of us can't be politicians, because there is no way you will see a situation like this and you'll be very comfortable. Now, going forward again, look at the same person. We can, you are now in PDP. You are you sure you don't even know where you are. You are not. You don't know if you are in PDP. He no, said he's in PDP. He said he's in PDP. No, in that is what he said. If mm -hmm. you said you are in PDP, mm -hmm. now why building a structure in APC in River State? How because is he building a structure now in APC? You are in building a structure in APC in River State. What is your reason? Now, permit me to say that on your kosher, the state. Uh, no, no, reps, no, hold on. No, no, no let me come. to drag no, him into what is. No, no, no. no, no. He you, said he's still in PDP. No, he, that is what he said. Yes. Now, we are not and looking at. Kocha is a are, member of the APC. We are not looking at what he said. We are looking at the practical aspect of the practical aspect of what he's saying. Okay. I shouldn't be looking at what he said from his mouth. Why? Now, I should look at the actions that comes from you. Because they say action, some of these they say actions speak louder than voice. You may say a thing, but it's quite different from your action. So I won't copy your action. If you go to the biblical aspect you of it. You won't copy my word. No, I won't copy your word. You know, if I go to the biblical aspect of it, based on what the pastor said, he said, what do I don't listen, don't do, don't do as I do do as i say means that he believes that he can always say that's the practical aspect in the bible in the biblical aspect when it comes to policies it's not in the same terms okay now we care as a person mm -hmm. the state reps of ndc river state tony okocha who also is imposing himself right now on apc as the current apc chairman is a structure power uh, hold, 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 uh, comrade comrade hold on when you say he's imposing himself he was appointed by the national office now that's what i said so he's not imposing now himself. when you see a uh, ganduji and wiki are they not birds of same feathers because this was the same person that was throwing uh throwing tantrums at each other just how many months ago or well, many months ago a few months ago these same people that was exposing themselves on the national tv and on the national media we heard all they said against each other how they insulted each other and how they exposed each other so we're also aware that these two persons that have found themselves under one structure under one leadership and president who always understand themselves because they are both partners in crime now Gandhiji will not see something that will bring food on his table even though he's the national chairman if you like let Gandhiji have up to according to wiki let him have up to how many million dollars in his pocket bring ten thousand you will still collect he will still collect so that's to tell you that anything that comes is good to go 
So at that point, if we have a party that is on board, now looking at what the PDP national chairman have said or national executive have said and what the APC is doing, can you both differentiate the party? No, you cannot differentiate the party from each other. Rather, I will tell you that they are both built of same feathers. PDP is not different from APC. APC is not different from PDP. And that's why they don't they do not respect the constitution of the party. Because if they respect the constitution of the party, the likes of Wicked time ago would have been dismissed. Uh, be dismissed from the party. About the respecting the constitution of the party. Mm -hmm. I believe politicians respect the constitution of parties because I've seen situations where local government chairmen have been suspended and some persons have been kicked out of the political party mm -hmm. for mingling with other parties. But Wiki, Governor Wiki's, former Governor Wiki's case is different as it is glaring. He was a governor in the PDP. He was, um, let's just say he was one of the leaders of the PDP in the last administration because he was forward, always championing the cause of the PDP. To him, he said he was saving the PDP. But hours to the election, he played double party and he got his people to vote for the ABC. If not for what he, he, he probably brought to the party, don't you think the party would have suspended him? Isn't it clear to see now that it's all about personal interests, as they say, as opposed to the interests of the people or the party. I, I would have said it would have been the interests of the people, but now we're talking about their party, saving the party, and he's not even bothered. So it means the parties will somehow, the PDP will somehow die for all of them to just move over to APC. Now, now um, talking more about politicians, to me, it's really not um, a concern for me, but my, more, my the much of my concern now goes to the citizens of this country, which I am part of it. Now, we don't have a country anymore, and that's why, this is why uh, the Nandi Kanu keeps saying Nigeria is a zoo, because when he sees something, or he actually see, saw some of these things that is ongoing, he made him say Nigeria is a zoo. Now, these are the reasons. And that's why most times I think about some of the statements of Nande Kanu. And I think this man is just being right. Because if we have a country, we have a country, a country that have a standard, a country that want to imitate and also want to implement what you see that other people are doing that is right. And you want to implement it in your own system. Why can't we have a different system? Why must our system be all about political aspect? What happens to the welfare of the citizens of the country? What happens to the, uh, the, the, um, the institutions that we have in the country? What happens to other aspects of life in our country? Why do we have a situation whereby politicians don't care about the citizens? Why do we have a situation whereby the hardship that Nigerians are passing through does not concern those that call themselves politicians in power? Why do we have a situation like this? Why are Nigerian politicians just concerned about their selfish desire? What happens to those they say they are governing? What happens to those they say they are representing? What happened to the, the people in the community or at the community level? Why do we have a president that just wanted to be a president because others have become a president and his own turn to become a president? Why do we have such a president? Why do we have a president that is not concerned about the sufferings of Nigerians? Why do we have a governor that keep up thinking about how to settle isn't, Godfather? Isn't that Why do we have a minister that think of only how to satisfy himself? Why have we changed Nigeria to a system where you can only belong to a system before you can be in power? Why well, has it turned Nigeria to a situation where any person want to become a, they want to go into leadership now becomes a member of the confraternity? Mm. Why do we have yeah. a country where occultic people, non cultist non occultic members, should be the leaders of this country? Why must we have a situation like this? As we speak, must we all find ourselves staying our hands? And that's why I tell security agencies that if we must survive, also learners can be able to harm to arrest those that are in power. In that right. system, let, let, why don't you arrest those that are also in power? Now, the, 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 the INEC, the INEC as we see, why can't we have a let's, situation? Let's, let's, let's look at something on this particular issue. Going back to investigate issues of anti-party from 2015, you know, as of 2015, Atiku wasn't a member of the APC, a member of the PDP. He was in APC. And then he came back in 2018, thereabouts, to, and contested for 2019 presidential elections. Is there an ulterior motive? Because he says he's not going to, you know, uh, suspend any member because there were cause for him to suspend yes and week over alleged anti-party activity. So he said he's not going to do that. He's thinking of building the party. But what is the essence of going back to 
um, investigate whatever happened on Amti Party and other activities from 2015. Is there is there a hand of Esau? And did there, is there a hand of Jacob and the voice of Esau somewhere? If he said he cannot suspend anybody, is it beyond being suspended? If Who? he cannot, the the, the, the chairman. Okay. Who is going to suspend him? Don't they have neck? Is, yeah, is, but, is, but, is but, the neck not saddled with the neck? Because neck, the neck, neck, neck no, no, no. Them. no, the neck cannot be. If the neck, except the neck, has also joined him to lick the oil. You see, because what is playing out here is personal interest, not the interest of the party. So what is playing out here is purely the, the, the Nigeria system of politics, not a standard system of politics. Because if we have a system where they want to do it right, as a party national chairman, why will you want to think of a situation that will indict every other person? When you know what is at, point, at the point now, you know very well that even you, the national chairman, where did he come from? Was he a born PDP? He said he's a founding member. He's a founding member of PDP. He founded and he has never played anti-party. So why didn't you start? Why did him, the national chairman, why didn't he start from when he became the founding member of PDP? Okay, so he should so, start from... He, no, he shouldn't. But that could take forever. No, that should start from when he became a born and when PDP came into existence. So I think if you really want to do something and you want to make it right, start from where, even when he affects you directly. Because at this point, the national chairman has talked about um, doing the wrong thing instead of doing the right thing. It's actually something that I felt that if they have constitution in PDP, it ought to be suspended. Because yes, at this that's point, we ought to be suspended. Not weekend, the national chairman should be suspended. What did he do to you now? For saying he cannot. That's that for saying he cannot suspend those that you are saying that need to be suspended. <laughs> How can you see people that need to be suspended and you are saying you cannot suspend them? That's why you want him. Are, are you just left? No, that's why they should be. No, that's why they should. You wanted to suspend this one. No, okay, okay, that's why they should suspend him. 